role in the movie. So, Anna. Oh, um, I think I was so excited about this, you know, this unraveling of this dark universe, and then they told me about this incredible archaeologist who was smart and feisty. And then, of course, you know, the, uh, the chance to work with this one here on my left, Sophia, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alex, and of course, Tom, who's amazing. Yes, so I think it was, it was many things, but I'm very happy I'm here. So, Sophia? And it's, it's an incredible honor because this movie was iconic and we were remaking it 80 years later. Uh, Boris Karloff had made that character iconic. And it's an honor for me to play a strong, powerful female. And our director thought about it that way, and I think it's wonderful. I'm proud of our movie, and I'm just so proud to work with an incredible cast. Working with Tom is a blessing. You're a joy to work with, Tom. Annabelle, you're incredible. You're funny, you're lovely, and you're an incredible director. And working with Russell, I mean, does it get any better? <laughs> Does it get any better? Thank you, Sophia. Come on, and Tom Cruise, please. Thank you. Uh, I tell you, I'm very excited about the Dark Universe. Uh, I love monster movies and how as a kid. I mean, early on, I did an uh, interview with the vampire. I was very excited to have this opportunity. I've known Alex since Mission Impossible 3. He was uh, the writer of Mission Impossible 3, and this is only his second film that he's directed. And it's just a very ambitious movie. Uh, really, when I came on, there wasn't a character. We really. We had, the first thing that I saw was a photo of Sophia as the mummy. And I just thought this is, I, I wanna, it just really sparked my imagination. And you know, the conversation I had with Alex, I just, this is, uh, this is gonna be an exciting uh, event, film. And I, I love entertaining an audience. And the things that, it is the first film in the dark universe. And this is, this is very much an origin story uh, where Nick is a protagonist kind of taking the audience through this world and introducing them to this new world of gods and monsters. And the things that, that we really talked about from the beginning is in the dark universe that it's going to have just big, big entertainment for an audience. It's going to be shot and, and explored in very large, exciting format. It's going to have adventure. Uh, it has comedy. It has really great scares and classic filmmaking that I, that I love. And, it was really, you know, when we started working on it, we were finding out who is this character going to be, and we really came up with this idea that he's an entertaining kind of scoundrel, scoundrel, you know, I like that one. an entertaining scoundrel, uh, and really, we, you know, we just, we just really found it as as we were going along and exploring it, and but the excitement for me was just the whole universe and being part of this movie and. Also, you know, when you have Sophie and Annabelle, these two very powerful young actresses, young artists, uh, you know, this light is dark. You have S Russell Crowe, who's playing Dr. Jekyll. Uh, the sets were beautiful. We shot in Namibia. And to have the opportunity to bring just a really big, summer, fun, and unique film to an audience, uh, I, was, I was really excited by that challenge. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> from Fabiola Ventura from Mexico City, and she wants to know what's the most difficult part when making a film of this genre? Um, well, you know, in the case of The Mummy, you want uh, adventure and fun, you want to scare people, you want them to laugh, you want it to be emotional, that's a lot of different things. So every day what you're doing is you're constantly trying to figure out where you are in balance. Sometimes you go too far, sometimes you don't want to, you know, you don't want to go too far. You're always looking for how to maintain the right tone. Um, and I think that maybe the biggest challenge is, you know, as big as the movie is and as much spectacle as there is, you always want to pay attention to the little character moments and to the human interaction. And that's the thing I think that uh, can get lost sometimes. So for me, that's the thing I always want to look for the most. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Uh, we get a question for Sofia from Alejandro Murillo from Mexico City. He wants to know, how does it feel like to play one of the most famous horror characters of all times? It's an incredible honor. Uh, she crushes it, really. <laughs> she's terrifying and she's beautiful and commanding. It was, it's really it took, it, it, it was a process to find that, and honestly, with the help of, of, of these two, because uh, the, the size of her was, was beyond what you can imagine, and I had to be reminded and be pushed, and then 
Uh, it, but it's, it's, you are a pharaoh queen. You are a pharaoh queen. You are a queen. You are a queen. You are a queen. You are a queen. Meanwhile, I'm tiny like a shrimp, but I wanted to find that size, you know? I was like, what do you mean? How big? Uh, and you just, you fill that screen, man. You just have such power. Thanks. It, it, it's, it, it is an honor, you know? This movie's been done 80, over 80 years ago. And to have been brought now, nowadays, and to make it modern and to, to adapt it. And I think, you know, she has such a strong story that I could rely on. And, and that's what gave me all my strength, is to understand what happened to her and have empathy for her. You know, that's what, you know, helped me to go through all this process. And it, it means a lot to me. Thank you. So yeah, one of the things we did early on also, and I, I like doing on movies, and, is you just do movement studies of the characters. So we would do, uh, just for kind of film buffs that you're interested in this, the stuff that I'm, you know, that we, we look at, I'm interested in is a composition of how to shoot the actors. We're playing with lighting, you know, looking at different angles of their faces and movements as they start to build the characters with, with, with everyone in the film. So that you can really see how we're, you know, get the cinematographer knowing how, and, and Alex, how to stage the scenes that really give them that power that we wanted, and also give them the kind of comedy and tension that we wanted. So we did a lot of that early on. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Sophia. And now we get a question uh, to Annabelle. This one is from Luca Alvarez, and he wants to know about your experience in, of shooting on zero gravity. Was it difficult, Annabelle? Um, it's quite a difficult scene to do, actually. You know, I think. What people don't realize is you go up to 20,000 feet, you pull the nose up and you go up to 40,000 feet and then you do an arc and in that arc you're weightless. And we did it 64 times. She's a champ. Yes. Six, uh, over two testament days, to she couldn't train for it. A testament to you. I told you it was going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely chose an actress who has way more bravery than common sense. So he was smart to do that. Um, but really, you know, it was just a wonderful experience and it adds so much to our film. It really sets the tone of the action sequences that Alex so much wanted to achieve and yeah I, I feel very proud that I went up there and you know my common sense didn't take over and yeah I followed Tom right into it. Now that you're talking about this zero gravity and the difficulties to shoot the scene, uh, this is a question for everybody. So uh, one of our fans just logged in from Argentina and wants to know which was the biggest challenge while filming? So um, the whole Every day it's a real challenge because we're discovering the film as we go along. A lot of people think, you know, I mean, the way I make a movie is, yes, you have a script, but that's just a jumping off point. We're constantly, as Alex said, we're chasing tone, we're chasing, we're chasing the story and the character moments, uh, plus also on a very large scale. So there's, there's that tremendous amount of pressure on day-to-day -day of production. Um, and I have to say, all, all of us together, I mean, Sophia would, had 24 different makeup tests who had been filming. 24, a very long one, six, seven, eight hours sometimes. And also, you know, and these guys, are, they're, they haven't made a lot of movies before. And one of the things that I love when I'm making movies is I want the team, it's our film. This isn't my movie, it's our movie. And, you know, we give so much to it, it means so much to us. And Alex and I have worked together before, so he knows how I love to work and I, love, I know how he works. And, but I have to say, Sophia and Annabelle and, and everyone just, and Jake and, and Russell, we all came together and we, you just never give up on a story. You're constant, every day. So there's not only the stunts that we have, uh, which are, you know, it's nonstop action throughout, but we're constantly, a stunt, it's action is action, but what makes it interesting is the story and the characters that we're always trying to dig in and get in. That, that kind of thing, it just, you can't ever have an easy day on a movie like this. Thank you, Tom. And for you, Alex, as the director of this film, what was for you the most challenging scene of all? You know, I don't think I could really put it into one scene. I think I think it's uh, it was an up and down, high-swelling siege that I will never fully tell you about. Um, it was, uh, you know, we shot on huge sets, huge, huge, huge sets. Line from Jerry Maguire, by the way, just in case you haven't. Um, and yeah, and um, and. What you're, what you're trying to do is choreograph a lot of movement in the frame. And sometimes, as in the case of the scene where we discover the mummy, you're going from the top of a very tall set. Annabelle has eight pages of dialogue. You have to go down to the bottom of the set, and then the actors have to now spread into three different locations, and the camera has to cover all of those locations, and you have to make all of that work, and you never have enough time to do it. So 
The thing that I found very challenging and exciting, actually, is figuring out how to be so organized and methodical. And Tom, you know, um, really helped just it, with his experience. It just helped me understand how to look geographically at a set and understand, you know, if you separate the actors into three different frames, you're going to have a lot more choices editorially than if you put them together. And those are the kinds of things that only come from a lot of experience. So now I feel like I have so much more experience than I had before. Uh, but that was the, that that kind of thing was a challenge. That set was a challenge. You killed it, Alex. Thanks, man. Really Thank you, Rush, dude. Thank you, Alex. Sophia, for you, which was a little challenging for you. You know, I didn't think that this was going to be the most challenging, but. Here it is. It's really terrifying to be mummified alive. So that scene that we shot over the course of one single day. So it's the, sh the shortest, and it's the one where I'm being mummified alive. And, it, and my costume was in three different pieces, which is the legs, the top, and the face. And it's, it's, in, it's crazy to, it's unimaginable what it's like to not have the use of your limbs and your mouth all at once, and be put in a coffin to top it all. And so I, I just felt I just felt super vulnerable, and uh, it was really uh, dispowering, you know. And uh, I mean, it was great for the scene, but it was really, really strange scary. feeling. Yeah. And, and sadly, there was a moment I have to tell the story. Uh, we were putting the lid on top of Sophia, and I heard, and we realized that we hit her nose. The thing hit her nose. <laughs> and so, that story. It was horrible. And so, if you look very closely at the film, you'll see a little blood right there, and that's Sophia's actual blood. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I could just touch it or say something, because all I could do is. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and so the lid was removed, and I still couldn't help myself, and they removed the headpiece, and blood came out of my nose. You know what? I keep telling that story to people. I never said that particular detail. <laughs> well, now everybody knows. Now everybody 